Taking aim at American warships, the U.S. military now outraged when an Iranian missile flew less than a mile past the USS Harry S. Truman, a U.S. Navy official calling the launch highly provocative. Illinois representative and Air Force pilot Congressman Adam Kissinger is, goes on the record tonight. Congressman, thanks for joining us. What's your you reaction bet. to thanks this? Thanks for having me. Well, look, this is obviously Iran trying to, you know, flex their muscle, trying to show their biceps, if you will. And uh, and it's showing that they're not backing down. I mean, you know, I'm sitting in Chicago, and, and one of the things you talk about here is kind of a left-wing, obviously, driven politics. And, and President Obama came out of that, and, and he came out of this idea that believes, you know, like with the Iran deal, all you have to do is smile at him and have, like, that goodwill hunting moment where, you know, uh, Barack Obama, as Robin Williams just says, it's not your fault, it's not your fault, and Iran eventually down and smiles and hugs us. But that's not how politics works here. And so what we've seen is, despite this so-called Iran nuclear deal, they're continuing to flex, if not greater muscle. And, uh, and they would never do this against a president that wasn't President Obama, because they know that the Americans have the ability to push back, but President Obama won't. So what is the proper response to something like this? I mean, I've been on an aircraft carrier in the Strait of Hormuz. It's a very small area. Um, you know, you see Iranians coming out and everybody's sort of checking each other out in this little territory. This is very provocative for people who haven't seen it or been there. What's the, what's the proper response? Well, I think we have to do a show of force back. You know, at one point in the last few months, we didn't have an aircraft carrier there during a switch out. I think we need to have a strong yeah. naval presence, make it very clear to Iran uh, that they will not toy with us, that they will not mess with the commerce that goes through the strait, which is very important. Yeah. The other thing to keep in mind is these Iranian small boats uh, are actually very dangerous. They can overwhelm, and that's their, their goal would be to overwhelm a U.S. Navy ship. Uh, so I think it's important for us to push back, to have a strong presence, and also... You know, I think we need to cancel the Iran deal, frankly. Now, that's not going to happen under this president, uh, but it's obvious that they're not going to follow through by the Iran deal. Cheating is in their nature, and to think that somehow this president is going to enforce the deal when they cheat is just not going to happen. All, all our hope can be is that the next president will be much stronger. Okay, let me turn you to another story that was making waves today. The Wall Street Journal now reporting that the NSA has been spying on Israel and even members of Congress as well. This is coming two years after President Obama said the U.S. would end eavesdropping. You remember that on friendly heads of state. Right. What are your thoughts on this story? Well, look, we, we need to not overreact a little bit. Look, Edward Snowden, uh, the, the little guy that he is that thought he could affect American foreign policy, cannot set our spying policy. Uh, you know, look, when he talks about what they do to Americans, that's one thing. But, you know, look, uh, countries forever have spied on each other, allies and enemies, where this is a very concerning though is why the administration went after Israel and went after Netanyahu and it was frankly to get involved in domestic politics we were in Congress debating this Iran deal and I, I don't think they advertently spied on members of Congress but in the process they got some of our communications and they should never have been allocating that much national security resources or frankly any to intercepting those communications the other question is this is what what did they have to take those resources away from in order to play domestic politics with this deal? Mm -hmm. What Al-Qaeda unit were they not able to listen to? What country did they have to reduce surveillance on in order to monitor Benjamin okay. Netanyahu? So, look, we have to okay. have spycraft, but this is ridiculous. Important questions. Maybe we'll see an investigation. Congressman, thank you so much. You bet. Take care.